RayPet community, welcome to another edition of Staff Spotlight. We are here today at Timber Creek Elementary School speaking to Officer Stephanie Hornbeck. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, not only are you our school resource officer, you really kind of represent an entire partnership that we have with our law enforcement partners across the district, both in Peculiar, Raymore, and also Cass County. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, what led you to this point in time where you are our school resource officer? Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I've actually always wanted to be a police officer or within law enforcement, um, probably since late middle school, early high school. Uh, just never quite worked in my favor. Um, I actually came in to work for the Belton Police Department as a civilian, as a victim advocate. Uh, so I did that for about five and a half years and then fell into a position in the court, working for our court for the city of Raymore. Um, I was also working part time at a local uh, pub and um, that was that restaurant was going to be closing. So um, one of the detectives came to me and said, why don't you come and work for us? And I said, well, I already do. That's awesome. And uh, he said, no, no, I mean downstairs, like with us. And uh, so the, that began, began the whole uh, the whole process, the very quick process. I think we got it done in about two weeks of me uh, applying for a position as a police officer in the city of Raymore sponsored me. So um, sent me to the Cass County um, Academy and then for I think that was about four and a half years. I've been a police officer for the city of Raymore. So. Outstanding. Yeah. And I know you're a RayPet graduate as well. I am. So tell me a little bit about how that comes into play and how that's helpful for you in your role here as a school resource officer. Um, that can be a double-edged sword working in the community that you grew up in. Um, it's it's helpful in the fact that I grew up in Raymore. I went to the, the OG elementary school, Raymore Elementary, back in the day, you know, when we only had one up here. and. Um, I know a lot of people, my, my parents were very involved in the community, my grandparents were very involved in the community. Um, I did a lot of help with the Lions Club, at, you know, kind of following my grandma and my parents along on, on things and best, well it used to be, um, it's the Festival of the Park now, but it used to be the Raymore Community Days. So um, doing all that, I, I know a lot of people, I've come into contact with a lot of people. Um, and, and even in doing uh, my other jobs as the victim advocate um, and working in a restaurant service industry and things of that nature, I've just come to know a lot of people in the community. So it's been helpful on some calls where, you know, we go out and maybe somebody's a little riled up and I can just be like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, oh, I know you. And, and so that kind of helps to deescalate the situation. Um, same side of that is, you know, I know a lot of the people right. that we have run-ins with. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's, it's a 50-50. You never know how that's going to work out. Relationships are key to everything. They are. And so I, I've watched you over the past uh, year or so with your work here with our kids. Uh -huh. And I'm so impressed with how engaged you are with our young people. You've been a reader. Yes. Uh, throughout our schools, you were uh, almost an actor in one of the plays that we did at, yep. at Raymore Elementary School. You were a dancer as well. Uh, I saw a yeah. video of that. The 80s music, it'll get me every time. I, I usually don't interrupt classes, but, uh, you know, they were cranking out some, some culture club that day. And uh, <laughs> I just couldn't couldn't stay away from it. So I popped in and, and got to dance with the nice. kids for a little bit, and we had a blast. So. Tell me what you love most about being an SRO here in RIPEC. Engaging with the kids um, and being able to come in and do it on a level that I haven't seen done up to date. Sure. So, like you said, you know, reading to the kids. I've, I've filled in a couple of times before I became the full-time SRO. Um, and last year I was able to come in and read to 47 classes. Wow. Um, and I had a blast doing it. So I was in theater a little bit in middle school and my freshman year of high school. So being able to come in and really, I'm not just reading the story, I'm really bringing the story to life with different um, voices and characters and accents and all of that. Um, it, it's so much fun for me, um, as well as the kids. So, you know, and to bring interest into books. Sure. It's not just, you know, reading the book word for word. It's really getting them engrossed. Um, last year, the librarians over at Raymore Elementary had the idea to do the reader's theater style um, with it's not Little Red Riding Hood. And that was so much fun. Um, I had to actually ask my sergeant to come in and watch um, just to see what I was doing and, and how I was doing things within my position as an SRO. And I was able to uh, kind of 
guilt him into coming in and reading for, for a little bit. And he ended up having a blast, um, which rolled into this year. So we did it again. And I was able to uh, snag uh, a lieutenant, a captain, a couple of detectives, and one of our road guys. And actually have another one coming up over at Creekmore Elementary right before Christmas break. So I'm going to get everybody involved. And you know, the partnerships that we have, and just not beyond just the professional, but just the engagement with our kids and our mm -hmm. community, our staff members, uh, it's outstanding. Now, I know you are in a very serious occupation. Sure. And over the past several years in RAPEC, we've increased our um, partnerships with our law enforcement partners to have more of them involved. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone from one SRO now to five across the district. Tell me a little bit about that, because I know it, we our parents send our kids, expecting our kids to be safe in our schools, and you guys do a tremendous job of helping ensure that, but that comes with a pretty serious aspect of that as well. It does. Um, and with the other SROs, they are at one single school. Mm -hmm. I have seven schools mm -hmm. that I have that I'm over. So I have all six of the elementary schools in Raymore and as, as well as the lead center. Um, so my job is every day, every school that I, you know, it's my goal to hit every school every day mm -hmm. um, and make sure doors are secure, kids are okay, every, you know, everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I, we've actually gotten where Raymore uh, Police Department has our patrol officers that will come in and do walkthroughs as well. Good. And that's two things, you know, that it's kind of helping with two things there. They are also ensuring that the schools are secured and safe, um, but it's allowing our guys that work on the road that don't necessarily have the opportunity to connect with the kids, to mm -hmm. become familiar with them. Yeah. Um, you know, we always tell kids, police are safe people, but really in an essence, we're still strangers yes. unless they're seeing them in the schools every day. Right. Um, so that helps if they need help from a police officer, they can say, oh, I recognize that one. You know, he comes, he walks through my school or, you know, like uh, uh, Officer Giacconi will stop by and, and hang out in the gym and, you know, play games and stuff in the gym with the kids. And they're like, oh, I know Officer Giacconi. Yes. Um, or if, even if we have to go on a call for service to their home, they recognize our officers and they're more comfortable um, with them being around. So. That's so important too. I think just how the community feels, the safeness, mm -hmm. you know, the the great place to raise children. Yep. And I think that that feedback is just what I keep consistently hear from from our parents and staff members. So at the beginning of the year on our all staff convocation, we talked about how we are dream makers. Mm -hmm. That eight, each and every person employed by the Raypeck School District either supports or delivers the dream uh, to our kids. As a support person, not directly employed by Raypec, but indirectly you are. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit what, what that means to you. How is Stephanie Hornbeck a dream maker to our kids? Um, I feel like I'm accomplishing that in various ways, whether it's you know walking through the halls and you know just as kids are lined up waiting for lunch or recess or whatever the case may be, and they're asking about the my gear that I wear or about my job, and you know just having those those quick little conversations with them, um, maybe inspiring them to be a police officer. I, I'm getting a lot more little girls saying, "I want to be a police officer." That's awesome. Yes. Come and talk to me when you're 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm also a recruiter. Um, and then as well as coming in and reading to the kids, you know, maybe that may inspire uh, one of the kiddos to pick up a book they wouldn't normally sure. pick up to read or become a writer or with the reader's theater thing, inspire them to be, you know, to get into the theater and, and do some of that stuff. So um, just really anywhere I can. Just you know? opening up imaginations yeah. for what's possible yeah, with our kids. Yeah, 100%. And, um, you know, and in the schools, I deal with kiddos that are not necessarily having a, a great day. Yes. Um, and it's very important to me that they're not mm -hmm. seeing me only in that aspect. Um, if I have a kiddo who's, that I've had to come and help on a bad day, I come back and I see them on a good day. And I really try to get that positive reinforcement and you know, like, hey, I see you're doing great today. Let's take a color break. And um, I've done that and, you know, had worked for incentives for kiddos and you know, had lunch with them and things like that. Sure. So um, I, I don't want the position as an SRO or a police officer to only be a negative contact for a student. Um, do my best to make sure that we can get those positive interactions in there with them, too. That's awesome. Not, not everyone has the skill sets to be an SRO because you've got to bring some fun along with the sure. seriousness of it, and you do a great job of it. And thank I know you. our kids and our staff are richly blessed because of it. Thank you. So thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. All right. Ray Peck Community, that was Officer Stephanie Hornbeck here at Timber Creek Elementary School, one of our SROs across this great district of ours. Tune in next time where we'll have another special guest. Until then, keep smiling, and we'll see you soon.